Hey guys, I'm Janet on occasion, and today we are playing Small Memnon campaign, and we're about to do our first battle actually with the um, the Griffin Patriarch. We haven't actually had a battle controlling him yet, but this should be a lot of fun. Um, this is gonna be real tough. You know, this is a really good army, really well, you know, really well balanced, really punchy units. I mean, we saw how good just having a a bunch of um, javelins were against the the uh, Griffin Patriarch in the first place. That's how we felled it in no time at all. You know, these are powerful. You know, big armor piercing, big chunky damage, short range, which is actually a benefit, because if you're in range, the javelin has to travel far less distance, you're much more likely to hit the target. If it's archers, they always try and lead, you know, they always try and lead their projectiles, and any amount of movement can just throw the aim off completely. But nope, javelins, they just get that damage in real quick. It's very scary. Also, sirens are going to be a pain as well, especially causing berserk to a bunch of our units. It's going to be rough, I think. But it's going to be a lot of fun, I reckon. But we're going to do it, and, um, well, you guys will have hindsight. You'll be able to figure out whether it's fun or difficult or whatever in probably about ten minutes' time. Weather conditions, rain. Units take longer to recover from fatigue when idle. Is that, uh, I mean, does that really matter? Does that matter? I mean, we have some fatigue reduction, so I think it just means that if we manage to break enemies and they run off, then they're not going to be able to come back as fresh as quickly, which I think benefits us, because we aren't going to relent ever. So we're going to stay tired regardless. We'll never benefit from being idle. Um, so yeah, I think this is actually good for us. Alright. Let's get my, my... I keep wanting to say eagles. Let's get my griffins. I gotta say the the patriarch is quite a lot bigger than the lesser griffin. He's a big boy. Um, so gonna, hang on. Wait. Oh, I only have those two. Wow, I only have the two of them. I thought I had more. Oh, we do have this guy for poisoning. The hydra priest is gonna be really good against these heavy shielded spearmen. Gonna be really good against them. The javelins. Uh, so let's put you guys here so you can start getting those sirens. We can outrun everything. Like, we have 60 speed, and we're fine. We can outrun everything. Don't have to worry. So you guys can go there. Uh, we have all of our staff men or something. Whatever you'd call them. So you guys can hide over there. And I guess that'll do. The enemy is receiving reinforcements. Wait, really? You know what? I thought we avoided that. Why did I think we avoided that? I don't know. But that should be a lot of dead sirens. I was hoping for more dead sirens, honestly, but that's fine. Okay. Let's pull you guys this way. Uh, I don't know the damage I'm taking from the sirens now, actually. We actually took way more damage on those hunters than I was hoping we would. It seems that javelins are doing alright. Shame. Shame. This is not going to be easy. This is not going to be easy. But, we'll be pretty good if we can get these guys involved. Okay, those sirens are basically, you know, on their own now, right? So they should go down pretty quickly. I feel like this is one situation where archers would be a lot better. <laughs> so they're almost wiped out. There we go. Good. Alright. Let's go get them. Oh, of course we got lightning. Show offs. No, no, not all of you, just one of you. Oh my god, just no, just one, one of you. Clicking in this game can be so crap sometimes. Oh, it's because you berserked, was it? because they berserked, so it just doesn't let you click on it. That makes no sense. <laughs> makes no sense at all. Alright, let's get you guys stuck in over here. Okay. And you're going to have to go keep them busy, I think. 
Okay, let's get the poison ritual here. Let's get that stuck in. Okay, good. I don't like that they're, they're fighting. Oh, that one bit. So how are we doing? Hard to tell. I think we're doing terribly. I think might be how we're doing. I think that could be how we're doing. Which is a problem. Okay. Okay, these guys need to be down, though. So that's good. There we are. You guys are out of ammo. That's okay. That's okay. Probably. Ugh. Yeah, these staff bearers. Need to keep moving. And, oh, they're healing as well. Oh, it's Children of Gaia, of course it is. Alright, you guys are doing great. Uh, yeah, you keep chasing them down, please. Uh, okay, how are you doing over here? Doing okay. Okay, brilliant. Let's get you guys back there. Okay. Let's try and charge these guys off. Okay, you're doing fine. You guys need to come back for these guys. Yeah, keep them busy. Uh, good. That's me while. Oh, don't, don't be playing that nonsense. All right, these guys are a real pain. All these sirens, I, I have no counter to them. I have no counter to them at all. These guys are getting shut down though, bit by bit. Uh, we're having a fun time over here, so that's good. Yeah, we're, we're getting through. We're getting through. Okay, let's lower all of the armor and such around here. That'll hopefully... Oh, God. You get hidden, please. You're running. Okay, yeah, get a good charge into the rear of them, please. And seven more seconds, I can throw poison down on all these guys. Which is good news. Alright, let's double you back that way. I mean, we're still doing fine. Memnon's not really suffering in there somehow. One of your units has no more ammunition. Yeah, that sounds accurate. And uh, leaders will. Brilliant. Now let's hit something with poison. Uh, I mean, it's got to be this guy, doesn't it? Hopefully that'll sort him out. Okay, that guy is good. I say that guy's dead, right? Yeah, he's d he's dead. Taking a while, but he's dead. Uh, you're doing great, Brady. And uh, now you can start chasing down fleeing units, which is brilliant. You guys have done a great job over there, but God, these sirens! I can't do anything about them. Really wish I could. Victory is close enough to taste. Yeah, well. I mean, we have suffered huge damage. I dread to think how many units we've lost. Because, I mean, even the ones that are still currently active are so injured that I worry that the ones that are currently active are technically dead. <laughs> you know? So it looks like they're alive, but, like, that's that's a lie. They're, they're dead. Uh, right, you can attack them. Oh, hang on. He hasn't, he hasn't broken yet. Soon. Soon. There we go. Wow, that was brutal. Absolutely brutal. Also, I just realized I didn't use any of my griffins. First, first, uh, <laughs> first battle with the griffins, guys. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> oh, my God. Just, oh, kill me now. Cadmian victory. Yeah, sure was. Well, good. I'm, I'm glad it at least looked like it really hurt. Oh, we didn't lose anybody. Fantastic. Uh, so, I, I think we just need to go for the replenishment raid, frankly. That was an absolute slaughter. Um, but our griffins were all fine. <laughs> but, God, yeah, look at these guys. 221 kills? Hell yeah. Yeah, no, we did great. No, these guys did a great job. I was a bit concerned. I thought maybe they weren't getting through the enemy as quickly as I liked, but no, they, they absolutely massacred these spear runners. 
and heavy shielded, uh, you know, spearmen. Uh, yeah, they just got work done. They really got work done. We never even really got into their back line properly. So all those kills were, okay, a few of them were these guys, but like so many of them were decent units. So no, they did a great job. I'm proud of them. I'm proud of them. Yeah, they really performed. I, I'm glad I went all in with these guys. They're doing it. Should have gone, you know, maybe less all in with them and maybe a little bit in with the Griffins, but that's another thing entirely. Um, <laughs> so, I guess we should chase him down, right? Uh, so, Reckless, the universe sometimes rewards those who pay no heed to danger of consequence. Use uh, That is the gamble. So, I do love this, that we actually get these, these different uh, bonuses. Because extra charge bonus and damage for everybody? Like, uh, yeah, thank you. Please. I mean, over a hundred charge bonus. It's pretty great. Pretty damn good. Uh, everyone's going to die? Yeah, everyone's going to die if I attack. Okay, you know what? Fine. Forget it. Retreat. I'll retreat, okay? Screw you. Son of um, can I do anything as to not get murdered? <laughs> I'll have to refuse. I'll have to refuse and get Fight murdered. Uh, Alright, I'm going to wander off and I'll set fire to this guy's house instead. These guys are kind of everywhere, actually. Yeah, these guys seem to be doing quite well. Um, more reinforcements for each city next time we call reinforcements. Oh, that's what did it. I forgot about that. Last time we called in reinforcements, like, wow, you get three of each? No, you get one of each. It's just we'd taken this, so we got more. Which is a great way to actually make things cheaper, because, I mean, some of this stuff, like 8,500 food? That's insane. If you get three of each of these, then suddenly it's like, oh, okay, you know what? That's pretty good. <laughs> so, it's not terrible. Certainly not terrible. Anyway, uh, speaking of terrible, we're still terrible on the income. So, yeah, we need to come over here and burn this down. It won't help us uh, on our quest, but it will give us a bunch of food. Although, so will this, actually. So, maybe I can, I can continue to stomach it. I can last a couple turns before taking that. And that'll keep us going for another three or four turns, so... Maybe it's okay. Maybe we'll be alright. I'm just not sure what to do with this army at this point, because I can't really afford to chase these guys down. I, I need replenishment. How many turns do I need? Four. That's not too bad, actually. That's not that's not shocking. So I'm gonna move up here. Okay, I'm gonna move up here. Our journey continues. Just, I'm not completely out of the way, but I'm a bit out of the way. I'll ambush. If they happen to chase me, I'll be able to take out one of them on their own. And if not, I should be able to run away far enough that they can't follow up. Maybe? Maybe? Maybe not. Hard to say. Maybe that'll be fine. But if not, I'll just fight the battle myself and use the griffins. <laughs> it's a good idea, right? I think it's a good idea. Uh, siege construction available. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Does it matter? I mean, really? Let's just... Here, have... Have five battering rams for the one gate. And enjoy. That might actually be the end of Pylos, by the way. I, I'm not sure they have any other settlements anyway. And they just took over Adathera again, which is ridiculous. So they're going to be even weaker again. Unbelievable. So they want a lot of gold. Like, a lot of gold. But we have a lot of gold. And they'll give us a lot of wood. But, like, a lot of wood. So, yeah, sure. Is that truly worth the gold cost? I mean, maybe not, but we do seem to be getting a lot of gold just out of beating the crap out of people. So, oh, wait, one more turn. Silly me. We Over to Memnon. Uh, so do I want to attack this again? I have no idea. I can't imagine these guys have much health at all. So maybe I should destroy this again. Uh, Griffin Patriarch has already searched this region. You cannot search it again. Silly. What are you? What were you even thinking? They'd search it again? Uh, we'll lose a unit. I can't afford to lose a unit. Where? I, mean, I could fight this battle, but if I did, they'd probably beat the crap out of me, just because it's not a great spot to fight from. Although we do have all the griffins, but they have all these bloody sirens. 90 speed? 125 speed. You know what? Maybe I'll just chase them down. Alright, you know what? We're doing it. Alright, come here, we're fighting you again. And then I will use your corpses to replenish my troops. Although I guess we technically use the ones that are alive, because we take them on. Rather than take them in, we don't absorb them. So their strength becomes ours. Though, that would be fun. Uh, let's fight the battle. 
Okay, weather conditions, uh, the fatigue thing, I don't know, we'll just wait for a nice day. Good. And now you guys, you're group one this time. That's right. And uh, you're going to go on your own as well. And I guess you can also exist? I don't know. Uh, you guys are not that worried about. You guys I am, even though you can kick the crap out of everybody. Uh, you guys can heal if you need to. Why not you? What are you doing in that group? Alright, that'll do. Screw it. Let's go with the, the griffins. Go, griffins, go! Go knacker that guy right up. You chase them, you chase them, you kill him. There will be javelins, but that's okay. I'll go kill him with a chariot. How do you keep getting stuck in a selection? No, stop it. Stop it. I can't click on not that guy. Go, go away. Again, how? How is it selecting this guy every time? What? I'm so confused by that. Oh, he's just, he's just stuck. Selected. He's not actually selected, it's just the graphic is stuck. Okay, great. <laughs> what the hell? Alright, this is going well. This is going well. So is this, probably. So what do these do? Can, uh, cause a small amount of damage and disrupt unit formation. Interesting. We also have Rallying Screech. Interesting. Oh, he's berserk right now. Don't worry about it. <laughs> you know what they're like. And are you also berserk? No, you're fine. He's berserk, though. Alright, uh, we're doing fine. Uh, lots of broken units. Still out of control? Still, still out of control. That guy's very unhappy. Uh, Alright, go get him. Good. And how are you doing? You gonna, you gonna get him? Well, he's running away or something. Okay, go chase them down. These guys are running away all the time. And uh, now everyone else can follow up. And, I mean, that looks like it could be fun. Ooh. Ooh, that is exciting. Very exciting. Okay, keep going, mate. Keep going. Memnon has a kill. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Proud of you. All right, go get that guy. We are we are suffering pretty high damage on oh, no, our griffins now, so now I feel bad. But you know they got the day off last time, so. <laughs> and yeah, you should do better. Ooh. Just wanted to see what that would look like. Alright, poison them. And, uh, what? There are some hidden ambushes here. They are exemplary. Check that out. Didn't even see him. Impressive. Uh, so how are you doing, anyway? You doing well? You should be. You should be doing well. Let's heal up the griffin. Alright, keep chasing him. Six kills for Memnon. Brilliant. And now we're throwing the rest of the army in. They'll take a little while to get here, but we've softened up the enemy enough that I think they'll just kind of quit now. You know? I, th I think they'll just just call it a day. So, Griffin Patriarch's doing alright. Uh, damage caused as gold value, 1300. 15,000 damage. Which one? That one? Probably. Well, we won, so... So there we go. Settlement taken over again. Yep, that did it. So you stay down. We lost 20 men this time, which, you know, not great. We actually lost quite a few of the giant vanguards. Maybe we should have paid more attention to them. Um, so horde growth. Uh, don't want to prepare for nesting. Or do I? I actually want the griffin buildings to be cheaper. And, oh, and that gives us the extra technology speed. That's just horde growth. So nothing's here is giving us replenishment. Because it's a main settlement, I guess. So let's, um... People will still live here. 
Uh, we'll probably rarely see a griffin within the boundaries of their settlement. Well, not their settlement anymore, the griffins. Let's do this because we get the cheaper griffin buildings, right? That applies to our horde, I'm assuming. I'm assuming this has been tailored for that, properly. Oh, also, do we actually have the... Okay, we do have... Wow, we actually don't need much. Oh, no, we need nine. My bad. We have nine surplus, though. Um, I thought, oh, wow, we don't even need that much surp... No, we do. We need lots. Uh, so let's build this. Maybe. Do I want to stay here? I think we're going to wander off a bit. We venture forward. I'm going to I'm going to wander off. So this is still burnt down. It did destroy the place. So the, the text for that seems to be slightly different for us, because it does seem to still burn the place down. It's just giving us cheaper griffin buildings as well. Only 50 gold, which is much, much better. Uh, and then these, of course, put up the, your capacity for hunters and things, which is nice. And it gives us more gold, which is pretty cool. Yeah, let's get that built. And the extra scaling for damage and things sounds good too. So let's build one of those. And let's get the extra damage from javelin units. And I guess we'll get the extra 10% charge bonus for all our units too. So quite a few construction projects on the go, as I'm sure you've noticed. But that should work out rather nicely for us, I think. Um, that's going to make this army fairly unstoppable. I mean, like 115 charge bonus or something is going to be uh, disgusting. I can't wait. <laughs> right, let's crack on. We've still made barely a scratch in our epic mission, though. Our epic mission to destroy 10, um, you know, settlements belonging to those chaps. You know, Menelaus, etc. So, extra ambush chance. Love that. Big fan of that. A great hunter can follow a lead using their tracking skills to trap their prey. And cult level down for Athena, which is, you know, that happens. Don't worry about it. Um, I'd rather it didn't, but it, it do. We can get bronze per turn up, which would be good. Like, should we do that? <laughs> should we have done that already? Maybe. Um, cheaper Ethiopian units, faction-wide. Sounds quite useful. Work our way towards these camp followers. I was going to go for this one, but we don't have the... Yeah, we need 2,000 stone before we can do this one. I mean, it takes one turn to get, which is pretty great. And then, plus 160 stone per turn. Oh, that's absolutely awesome. Maybe. Is it? I don't know. How much do we use stone for? Uh, Hecatombs are a bit better, and Hecatombs cost a little less. Is nice. Charge bonus of all armies faction-wide by percentage is brilliant. Favor the gods per turn, sort of slow the decline. Um, Canaan units are cheaper. Income from raiding. Yeah, if we ever get around to doing any raiding, that would be great. Um, melee defense of light infantry. Melee attacker light infantry. I mean, this is all great, but it costs food, which right now we do not have. We really don't. So yeah, let's make the Ethiopian units cheaper. Make our way towards that. Um, so it's, you know, evading ambushes is, is kind of nice. I kind of like that. So yeah, we got we got some we got some stuff going for us. We're we're doing good. Okay, we're doing great. That's fine. Don't worry. We're about to get more food. I'd say we are on track. Probably. All right, so there he goes. Good day. I don't know what that other noise was. I felt like one of those noises came a bit late. Okay. So, horde growth, because he needs horde growth, or we could just go for the resources. Let's go with horde growth. And now, let's go for this thing, because it's right there and we can afford it now, because we got a bunch of stone. Brilliant. Good stuff. Um, so, how are you doing? We can get this to max level, which will give... Uh, oh, it lowers upkeep cost for lesser griffins. That is really useful. That is really useful. Also puts on the melee attack, which is kind of nice for uh, for all our griffins, which is also good. Um, I can also go straight there. I can go get some wood, or I could get some giants. Um, I mean, I'm sure there's a bunch of food settlements around here, right? I wonder. I wonder. So I think my Mycenae needs to get destroyed, right, for us to win. Yeah, we need to destroy Mycenae and also Patelion, which I. I have no idea what the settlement is. Oh, that's where Achilles is from. Okay, fine. Or is it? Is it? I think that's where they start, right? It's gotta be. Probably. Maybe. Also, that... Helen's here. What? 
<laughs> okay, sure. Kind of figured they'd be in Troy, but nope. Nope, they're not. Makes me wonder why we're still fighting. But never mind. Uh, See, so yeah, we'll go over here, we'll get this food because I need it. Being at war with these guys, like, whatever, it's fine. Uh, that grants vision over the area, that's a bit rubbish. And, uh, yeah, I guess we'll have uh, Takola move up the coast this way. So we'll have, we'll destroy this, maybe destroy that, and then um, destroy Argos, Mycenae. Gives favour with Hera, favour with Athena. Uh, that gives us the extra reinforcements, which is really nice. Centaurs. Yeah, I wish there was just more food. Just just more food would, would really, really do it for me. That would give us food. Now I'm quite tempted to finish that, and then come down here and take this one out. And have any of these regrown? No, it doesn't seem like it. Oh, okay, they are starting to. Yeah, some of these are, are starting to grow, grow new, um, you know, new sources of stuff again. So that's fine. There's gold up here, like yeah, six hundred. Wow. All right. Well, that's that then. Um, it's decided. <laughs> We're sailing off down there. Uh, because that's the thing, these are all still valid. These are valid places for us to take um, for the mission. So actually heading down here is pretty beneficial. Obviously not heading too far down here, but... Yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll, we'll go take that. Is that just saying there's a port? Yeah, of course it is. What else would we say? Alright, so you stay where you are for now. Let's upgrade that. And there's nothing else I can afford to upgrade yet, but that's okay. Okay, we're making progress. Um, do I attack this now, or do I wait a turn? I kind of want to wait a turn and get this built. So let's get that built. And move on. A new balance of harmony. Okay, so the griffins are now in favour, right? So, uh, yeah, mythic monster. So it, it's tipping this way, which means we get less gold from Spoils of War, but that doesn't really matter. Uh, we'll just get a bunch of additional griffin stuff, which is great. That I prefer that over over this stuff. Because I don't really use any Aaron Mass Boy. So yeah, that's great. Harmony with griffins. Perfect. Suits me. Oh, they're in the middle. Morale for all units faction-wide. Line of sight for all armies and horde growth out. I mean, that's all nice, but... Nah, that's better. I mean, morale? Eh, whatever. No biggie. New territory available. Aha! Megado unlocked. Brilliant. Mission successful, unlocked Megado. Oh, yeah, of course. Now we got a bunch of food and things for that. Uh, next up, uh, well, we've got the Royal Decree, which is what unlocked all that nonsense. Uh, call on the clans to bolster our ranks with armor and shield. Sure will. Okay, now let's go for that one. We'll head this way with that now. 27 turns. Wow. That is going to take some time. That's like a lot of time. <laughs> it really is. This costs a bunch of food, but that 15% melee defense rule light infantry is kind of massive. That lowers upkeep for all armies faction-wide. We are going for that, even though it costs 10k. That Okay, maybe I won't do both. I think I'll just do this one, and then I'll think about doing that one, because we aren't looking great yet. I mean, I could take this and pay for it, though. I could take that. I could take that and pay for it. And that might even give us that kind of, you know, an income reduction enough that we won't have to quite panic so much about food. I don't know. Raiding no longer incurs movement penalties. And we suffer less attrition. Extra casualty replenishment rate when raiding. Although, if I'm not suffering movement penalties, I, I suppose I could just raid always. Except I will then be tired always, I think. That does take 50% replenish. I don't know. We'll just go for that. Screw it. Replenishment's overrated. Probably. <laughs> it's overrated, I've decided, just now. Why not? Okay, so Sparta has taken Sparta back again. That's fine, because they haven't taken whatever the hell this is yet. So, you know. What is your problem? What? Oh, you're in the wrong stance. Well, maybe change stance then. Thought about that? Good lad. Okay. You. My boy. I'll see it done. 
we really do need another turn of replenishment. I, I want this army to be spick and span before I start smashing things. So, okay, we're going to skip the turn again. Military alliance with Hector. I mean, I don't see why the hell not. He's going to give me some wood. You can't... I mean, that's the, that's, the, that's the rule. You can't say no to a man who gives you wood. Okay, you can't. Uh, again, again, more wood, fine. <laughs> 96, which is nothing, but it's... A non-aggression pact is also nothing with that guy, so... It's all good. Fleet-footed resilience, plus 15% to melee defense of all infantry oh, units, which is very good, because, yeah. 58 is significant. In fact, wow, hang on. Oh, because you're just lower rank. Okay, cool, yeah. It turns out that uh, melee defense scales quite well with uh, with ranks, huh? Anyway, so yeah, pretty cool. Pretty good to have 60 melee defense on these guys. I like that a lot. I like that a hell of a lot. Um, so that's nice. Uh, our fleet-footed warriors can often be felled with a single blow, temper them through harsh training so they may endure. And also... Uh, hang on. Gain by spending time in farming settlements. Minus 5% food upkeep for all units in the army. That is so good. That is so good. Oh my word. I'm so glad I did. That's amazing. Okay. We just got slightly, you know, a bit of a reprieve there. For uh, for just loitering around. That feels really good. That is fantastic. Okay, you go over here. Take Scythera. And you over here... My honor guides. Do we attack Claytor? I don't I don't know whether I want to or not. I really don't. Um because that's the thing. If we do this this turn, then we're gonna have two turns before we're bankrupt. It'll be two turns before we're bankrupt. Which I guess means I can change my mind later, right? So I mean that plus eighteen percent of melee attack is huge as well. Uh this is all great. It just all costs so much bloody food. Although that would be good to get. Why haven't I got that yet? I mean, I know I don't have enough gold right now, but how did I not see that sooner? That's huge. Yeah, we should grab that in a second. Also, more income from raising is kind of nice, too. But uh, I don't think it's totally worth doing, because the resources we get from raising settlements aren't necessarily the ones we need to keep our army going. So um, let's get rationing. So that'll be 10% upkeep, and then we can get more food. So that'll be more than 10% of of the deficit gone. Although that isn't 10% of that. How much are we actually spending? Okay, our units are costing us 4k. So 10% is going to save us 400. That's going to give us 300. So it's going to be pretty good. Going to like, what, 13, 1400? That they'll want each 10? Something like that? If we get both those things? So that'll be good. You know, that'll be the deficit. It'll be like 1400 per turn loss, which isn't too bad. I mean, that means one settlement lasts us 10 turns. Suddenly that's pretty manageable, you know? Certainly feels a lot more manageable than I thought it would do. Um, also, we haven't maxed that out yet. We need more stone. That gives armor to units, which is actually a big deal, 10 armor. Like, 10 armor's not a lot, but when you've only got 20, that is suddenly quite significant. Um, so yeah, I like it. Okay, we're making progress. Feeling good about this. Feeling good. I don't think we necessarily need to burn this down, but I'm also very tempted to do it anyway, because it's there. Though I could get that one, except again, that's not the right sort of settlement either. Ugh. Alright, I'll burn that down first. <laughs> and then I'll come this way, and maybe burn that one down. But I kind of like the idea of these guys taking the settlements that I'm, you know, leaving in my wake. Because they seem to be doing that already. So... I kind of want to stay on their good side, but I don't really care about these guys. Although, are they allied with somebody? Like a waste of time to me. Uh, they are allied, really, no, non aggression, with, and they're military access partners with the Corinthians, and they are military allies with the Corinthians. Crap. Why crap? Because these are the Corinthians. <laughs> so, yeah, I'd be declaring war with both. Alright, I guess we're just going to head straight to Argos? Yeah, I suppose we're heading straight to Argos, okay? Let's just let's just book it, okay? We're about to spend a lot of food. But we are about to get a lot of food. Although I think in more turns than that. Uh Alright, we're not gonna do it yet. We're not gonna do it yet. Screw it. 
Uh, I don't want the stone per turn because I want the food per turn, so I'll save up for that. Uh, oh, I don't know. Start getting that one. Okay, lower upkeep is good. Because obviously, it means lower upkeep on all these guys. Okay, let's go. We'll just ration that food for a little longer. You know, while we set fire to all of our enemies. Cult level down for Ares. Always. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, Divine Will. Can we afford a Hecatomb or something? Hang on. Weren't we trying to keep Athena up? I think we were trying to keep this one nice and high so we get the extra melee attack for spear units. Well, that's silly. Uh, Hecatomb time. Prepare the altar. Cool. And yeah, Artemis I managed to keep higher by building a shrine, right? Did I build that in the end? I sure did. Wow, that did not... That didn't feel like that lasted for long. Although, plus 10 favor gained from a Hecatomb. So, hmm. I guess that will help in the long run, kind of. <laughs> so fortunate. On what slender threads do life and fortune hang? I don't know. You tell me. Cult level up for Athena. Yes. Yes, yes it is. Uh, erasure of dread. Failure. Good. And a faction got destroyed, which is fine by me. So let's get over here, and I mean, what have they got? Oof. Big, big old. Big old stack of trash. That's fine. Crappy units. We don't have to worry too much. And yeah, we're fine. Unless Spartans show up, which would be real bother. Uh, so I'll lose a couple of units if I attack now, so I won't. Pretty straightforward, isn't it? Pretty straightforward decision making. Um, so now let's head to... I don't know, do you want to go for Mycenae now or Argos? I mean, do you want Athena to be happy with us? Hang on. Yes, yes we do. That's the, the melee attack and things, that's perfect. Let's go get Athena happy. Alright, well that looks like a bother, doesn't it? Alright, what's in Argos? I cannot do not it. much. They are renowned, though. <laughs> what are you about? Uh, I mean, some giants, some club warriors, some militia. It's not really not much. I think if I attack this guy, that'll come outside and fight me. With pride and valor. So, they are all willing to come outside and fight me, which didn't really work last time, though, did it? Last time I tried this, it didn't really work. <laughs> Let's injure this guy, at least. Um... Yeah, these armoured chargers and renowned axe I mean, these are all pretty good. If I have ammunition left on my javelins, then I don't have to care. I can just skewer them. Um, but most of these guys will buckle pretty much immediately, I think. Uh, so I think we'll do it. We're going to fight it. Uh, wow, yeah, we can't, we can't risk auto-resolving it, that's for sure. So I guess we're going to fight it. Ooh, I'm suddenly quite spooked. Ugh. Yeah, we're going to fight it. And the weather's lovely. Good. Uh, so, let's not forget that these exist. Uh, so, reinforcements will be coming from the rear. And... I mean, you lot, let's just get you lined up. Alright? Get you lined up. We're going to put you guys out in front because you have some shields. And uh, giant vanguards I'm going to put on the edges. And our javelins... I'm going to have in the back. Memnon in the middle. <laughs> Our uh, eagles over there. They're griffins, not eagles. The enemy is receiving Regardless, they're over there. Alright. Try and position ourselves over there. And do you have that ability straight away? Yes, you do. Nice. Small amount of damage, but... We'll hit a lot of them, so... I mean, I could, I could just jump them all down, couldn't I? Do you want to just go straight for your Alios? Maybe. So you can't use that in combat, right? Maybe you can? You can use if flying. Okay. So yeah, let's, let's... Your warriors have spotted hidden foes. Let's jump him. Okay. 
Okay, hopefully that'll comfort me. Okay, come on. I really like to get you guys all clumped up, you know. Right, is that gonna is that gonna be good? It's really hard to line this up properly. Oh, okay, it keeps turning as you okay, terrible. Terrible. Shocking. <laughs> Never mind then. Alright, you guys need to get stuck in, because this is insane. This is insane how much they are just like giving us this. Okay, can we can we just like get stuck in, please? Alright, how are we looking for damage? I mean it looks like we're gonna suffer some, but it looks like the enemy is suffering quite a bit. 45 kills for the Griffin Patriarch already. So yeah, we're doing we're doing okay. Okay, good. Uh let's buff you. Your hero is under attack. Alright. You guys gonna line up? Let's get some... I mean, I'd love to get over here. And it looks like we might be able to, which is perfect. So yeah, we're gonna poison these guys and have a great old laugh. <laughs> it's gonna be great. Alright, there's a bunch of giants over there. Alright, so how are we looking for the old uh, poison fountain? Come on, guys. Come on, mate. Poison Fountain. Let's go. Poison Fountain. Activate. Check this out. Excellent news. Griffins don't care. It's just having a whale of a time. Having a time whale. 159 kills for the Griffin Patriot. Excellent. Now, let's make sure we can... Where are you going? Make sure we can keep doing that. By healing them up. Okay, so that seems to be going well. We seem to be slaughtering these bowmen. Which I like to see. And, oh, I see. There's an enemy here. Hi. Looks like he's gone, though. So we won. Was that it? I mean, that was such a... Such an anti-climax. <laughs> oh, yeah, there we go. He's done it. The foe has shited your hidden units. Yeah, seems like it. All right, let's go get those skirmishers. Oh, there are more coming. There are more coming. Bounce power is shifting again. Yeah, I've got to say, things are weird with them. Um, things are weird with this these days. With, like, reinforcements. They seem to act very strangely now. I don't quite understand what the deal is with it. I don't really know what it's going for. Very odd. So, we will wait for our javelins to get the work in, because I mean, they're doing some good work, for sure. Definitely doing some good work. I mean, can I go for these renowned axemen? I don't think they're going to do great against things like griffins, are they? Really not sure. Has claimed the enemy hero. Yep, sounds about right. And, uh, you lot. Attack. Let's let's charge him. You know what? Let's let the javelins deal with him. We'll let the javelins have him. And yet more staff bearers. That's fine. And uh, anyone I can get with the poison bomb. I don't think we need to. I don't think we need to. So yeah, keep on those charges. Keep on him, guys. Keep on him. Absolute doddle. Like, no problems. Brilliant. I would like to use a regenerative, mi regenerative mixture again, but I can't. It's a shame. I missed 200 kills for the Griffin. Did anyone beat him? No, actually. None of our, none of our staffmen did. So yeah, Griffin got the most kills. Pretty, pretty happily as well. Good job. Decisive victory. So with this battle, we should be able to get more replenishment. And then from that, we should then be able to attack the settlement. Very nicely done. 
Very nice. Uh, so yeah, we'll go with uh, the replenishment. 10% as well, which is very nice. It's a shame the single model entities don't get that 10% though. But that's, you know, that's okay. That's okay. And now I can attack these guys. And that should actually be a pretty straightforward battle. So that's nice. Uh, so there's some uh, Agive Slingers. I mean, it's mostly just Slingers here. Some Club Warriors, but like... Yeah, I think we can just charge them. So that should be pretty straightforward. I'm going to level up our boy, though. Although I think he's actually leveled up everything um, that is relevant. Oh, this stuff first. Oh, cheaper upkeep for things. Okay, in that case, uh, cheaper upkeep for the Nefru infantry. It really does very little. But hey, it's lowered, lowered upkeep a bit. These two are cheaper now. They only cost eight. They cost eight upkeep. That is insanely low. Like, just insane. We could have a whole army of these and no one would even notice. Which is kind of awesome. Maybe I should have done that. Maybe I should swap out some of these units with these cheaper ones. I mean, they're clearly not as good. They are clearly not as good. I mean, yeah, look at that. If you look at this bar here. I've got Nefru infantry selected. And as soon as I hover over these guys, everything is plus green with, like, giant numbers. I mean, extra 61 damage. An extra 78 charge bonus. But also extra 38 melee attack. I mean, just everything. 3,000 more health. E everything. So much higher. Except armor is the same. But, like, who cares? Oh, and um, these guys also have snakes. Because they have vanguard deployment. Or snakes. They have snakes. <laughs> they're great. They're great. Um, so, yeah. We can get cheap units, but they're not going to be as good. So, it's a pretty sensible trade-off, let's be honest. So anyway, guys, this is where we're going to end the episode. Uh, which is pretty good, because, yeah, taking out two of the great Greek cities. It's going to certainly help us uh, secure the victory in this campaign. So guys, if you enjoyed this, comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys. Have a good one.